Hi. <coughs> Hi. This video will show you how we create an, uh, an a smartphone and tapped activity. So with a new view page or two, which is new since 2018. So for this uh, for this application, we do uh, the following: we open our uh, our Android Studio, and we start from the basics. So we say here we create a new file on new project um, <coughs> with a blank activity, nothing else. If you want to try it, you may also use this one, the tapped activity, but this has the uh, view page. Uh, which is obsolete now. So we need a view page or two. And we start here with a, with a blank activity. We say, this is my uh, demo, demo view page or two in my example. I'm not sure if it runs now because I already have this folder. No, it does. The application is loading. when we come here to the layout we will see there's the activity main an empty uh, empty activity what we need now is we go here to the split view and we see there is a this is an empty block and all what we need there is we start from scratch we say something like this here you may either either drop now here from layouts the containers here here's the view page or two and you may also take a tab layout you may drop it inside there so this is one possibility we may drop it in there and also the view page might be okay but there is always a little problem a problem now you see here you have the view page too I simply dropped it in there and we have here the uh, tab layout which is in here and we have to give it a name and there's a text view let's throw out the text view and we say here uh, we we want a linear layout I take it from my default so I may type it in there a linear layout that's what we need and we we have to solve a uh, close that stuff with a also with a linear layout and with alt enter we add now that's one that's the solution and in the first case when we start we have no tab items in there so this is my our default layout tab layout and the view page so that's what we see here now in the right block now we want to load the tab layout uh, has those tabs tab item one two three four five they will be created in the first moment dynamically and the view page loads fragments in there so for this one we need fragments we go there we say let's create some fragments a blank fragment this is our page one page one and you see this creates a file a java file page one and the fragment page one now we do it for a second a third time second time fragment create a new fragment blank so let's say this is my our page two and once further a fragment 
fragment blank, page three, for example. Now we have inside there where you see that's our fragment. And when we have a look on this code there, it says tool context is uh, page one. And when we go here in our page, we see uh, this is the class, public class, page one, extends from fragment. So this is a fragment. And this is the creating of a public page uh, with the brackets page one. So this, this line creates a fragment, th th this fragment. And all the other code is uh, additionally. And when we have, when we go through the code, whenever uh, this fragment is uh, opened, it will call the on create view, and then there's a return inflator dot inflate, and then the resource it takes the resource here from the fragment one. So this is our fragment. That's what it's calling. So let's close so we don't need all that stuff. And now. Um, we will go now to our uh, main activity. That's the, our main code, which creates the our which creates our uh, file. Now we follow this stuff uh, in our main activity. Our our tab. Now this one has no name. Uh, we give it a name. Let's say this is our um, this tab has the ID tab and then the ID and we call it tabs. These are our, our tabs and the view page is in this case called uh, I, our ID tab ID is called view page or like this one view page. Or. Now these have names and we will find uh, these controls. And now we go in our code and we say here in our code file, um, this is our initialization when the, when the file comes up. Let's say this is our create uh, init, our create file, our, our activity create default. And now we have to do the following. We, um, the, our pages, those pages will be load inside our, uh, in, inside the view page, or which we said there. How does the, how does those fragments come into that view page or into this big container? This is done by, a, uh, by um, an adapter. So what we need here is um, a tool or file or something which is called adapter now. Um, and this will be done like this. We'll say uh, was, will be called view page adapter. Is a new adapter which loads those files. For this we have to go here inside and say okay under the Java block uh, view page or this is our application. We will say we need a new a new file which is called view pager adapter and there we say um, we drop uh, some lines in there I'm not uh, explicitly uh, writing those files now we say I drop it in there and say um, this is our public class view page adapter, which extends um, fragment state adapter. And then this is our default. It's, uh, it's the uh, public um, stuff. So we need it. This is, uh, it defines that uh, the, uh, uh, this view page adapter and it will be loaded by a fragment. So this is our acti by our activity. So this is our main activity, which calls this, that fragment. And then we have some uh, two blocks, two methods, which are from the fragment state adapter. One is create fragment. 
and in position. So when when this adapter loads the fragments, it says, okay, now this is page zero, page one, page two. And then we say, switch by this position. If the case is zero, return page zero. So this is page, zero, uh, page one. When we go there in page one, we see here now, uh, create this page and this page inflates goes there and says it, in, it inflates this stuff, this XML stuff. That's what this line means. So this is case zero, case one, and return this one. And then we have here uh, by default, this is the third. Uh, so this is page three, for example, by default, something like this, because we have here now those three, three uh, lines. So this is our adapter. Now we jump back to the main activity. In here we say um, the our view pager. Um, let's have it here. We need. We have to say here in the when that stuff comes, give me get those uh, elements, get get the elements, for example, and we say our tab layout is, is this one, I'm dropping those lines in there. So this is always the um, tab layout. As, I don't, I don't think I have to type it, you know, it's, uh, that's all default and I'm dropping it in here. We say now try, we're trying to get the view page of the tab layout, tab layout, which is the tabs. And then we need the view page. That's what we need. We, we take, we're looking for the front page elements since we are now in the code behind. And then we say, we, we create an adapter of this type, of this class. And then we say the view pager, this one, needs the adapter, uh, this loading device. And let's say, um, by default, this should be all. We don't need anything else, not, not really else, except one, a uh, small block, which is this one. Normally, if we have no uh, default um, sites, uh, uh, tab items, then we have to say we need a new tab layout mediator, which uh, is which connects the tab items with the uh, fragments. So fragments, when you move a fragment by sliding, then the tabs are also connected and Inside there is the basic override method uh, on configure tab. And you may say there is a, this is uh, the tab layout tab and the position. And we say the tab has the text, something else, you know. Now we started on, let's start on our Pixel 4 device. I know, I'm not sure if it runs. Where's our device? Here's my Pixel 4 emulation yeah this is my blank fragment blank fragment now you see those slides these these are moving and here we have our fragments of page one so this is let's say we have here a um, text and we say this is our uh, page one and let's let's make this one as a background for example, yellow, yellow, and we don't have a black yellow. We have a black one. This is black. And then we say here, this is fragment, uh, the, the other fragment. We say here, is this, this is page two, page. This is page two and some other background color, background color is, for example, teal, something else. And the third one is this one. 
this is page three. Page three, it's maybe by if we have a different background. Do we have red? No, not in this case. No. So now I'm starting it, uh, I'm running it again, and here's our, and it's reloading. And as you see, it's reloading. We might move here, and this is, it says not, says now it's uh, page three, page two, and this is uh, we are really unhappy since we cannot read that. Uh, we say this is now white, for example, and the text uh, itself is font size, family size, text size. Uh, 22, 33, SP, that's now we see it, we drop the same line in there, so we refresh it, where is our device, here it is, and now you see, you may either tap now on these tabs, on the tab items, or you may slide the uh, our fragments. And I will drop this simple code on my website and the link is below the below our uh, that video.